everlasting life. Niko hapa kueleza ya kwamba that the love of God has been expressed and it was already expressed uh, kupitia Yesu Kristo. Ilipeanwa bure kupitia Yesu Kristo. Hakuna kitu chochote unafaa kufanya au kupatiana ili ukapokee hii kitu. Leo niko hapa kuambia kwamba sio kwa sababu ya dini, sio kwa sababu ya kitu lolote lile, ni kwa sababu kupitia Yesu Kristo tumepata kujua ya kwamba Mungu ana I want to tell you today that the love of God upon the cross at Calvary was expressed. Najua wengi wanashangaa na wanashindwa. Hawa ni akina nani wamekuja hapa? But I want to tell you one thing. It is not because we are lazy people who decided to come to kuja kuhubiri hii neno. It is not because tumeacha makazi zetu tu huko tukuje kuhubiri hili neno. Ni kwa sababu Biblia inasema it is the, comp the, the compelling love of God that pushes people to go and speak this very good news. So we are here to tell you the good news of Jesus. He died on the cross so that you can be able to receive this truth in him. So my brothers and my sisters, I can also see um, watu ambao waka, wa, wako katika ule umri wa wazazi wangu. Nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba hii upendo tunaipata kupitia Yesu Kristo ipo katika maisha yetu. God delivered it unto us. Biblia inasema that God demonstrated uh, to, unto us in Christ Jesus while we were still sinners. Christ died for us. So we are here to tell you once again that this love was expressed. This love was given. This love was demonstrated. Jesus died so that you and me can receive it in abundance. So that you and me can experience this very truth. Hakuna njia ingine. Ukiona saizi dunia vile inaendelea. There is a lot of things that are happening. Kuna vitu ambazo zinafanyika ambazo hatuwezi kuelewa. Wanaume wanalala na wanaume wanawake wanalala na wanawake lakini leo hii nakuja kukuambia hao wanafanya hivyo kwa sababu gani hawaja experience the love of god wakati ume experience hii upendo hakuna kitu utaendelea kufanya kwa sababu hii upendo biblia inasema the grace of god teaches us to say no to ungodliness ile neema inatufunza tusifanye mambo ambayo haifai so today in the name of god in the name that is above all other names that is the name of Jesus Christ we are standing here to tell you that love was expressed upon the cross at Calvary hiyo upendo iko juu yako hakuna lolote unafaa ufanye hakuna lolote unafaa upatiane ambao wale wanakuambia kuna vitu unafaa ufanye na upatiane hao wanakudanganya that love was given unto us that love was expressed in Christ Jesus so my brothers and my sisters ambao mnanisikiza hapa leo hii nataka kukuambia Mungu alikaa chini na akaona ya kwamba ukisoma katika book of Genesis tunaona ya kwamba binadamu aliingia kwa dhambi na hii dhambi ilimfanya Mungu akaona amtume mwanawake ili sisi ama wewe na mimi tukapate kujua ya kwamba upendo wake uko katika maisha yetu upendo wake haijaisha baadaye tunaona ya kwamba katika the book of Genesis wakati binadamu alitenda lile dhambi Mungu katika ile hali akaamua ya kwamba huyu binadamu lazima ni mkomboe and we can see that a prophetic message was sent this very prophetic message was that the seed of the woman will will come forth and this very seed will trample against the head of the serpent so this very moment i'm telling you that seed is jesus christ himself he came forth so that you and me can be redeemed can be saved can be healed can be equipped to realize the truth that is in god today is that day and i'm declaring to you that there is a freedom when you experience this love there is a freedom when you encounter with this grace when there is a freedom 